Finally, the day we were waiting for. Pablo Mari joins Monza. Yes, he has finally joined AC Monza. All the best to him. Yeah, that's all I would want to say. Uh, congratulations for this beautiful move for him. I hope he uh, gets what he wants. I mean, and what we and I hope we get what we want. Yeah, because it's a loan with an obligation to buy, so it's not that gonna be. It's not gonna be that easy. But yeah, all the best to him, man. All the best to him. Moving on, so James Benge actually tweeted out that Reese Nelson facing a couple of months on the sidelines with a quadriceps injury. I'm told a frustrating blow for the winger at a pivotal point in the Arsenal career. So an injury. And it's really weird because, yeah, he was about to be sold. Uh, he was about to be, uh, you know, uh, sent on loan him and Ainsley Meat and Niles. So if he has a quad injury... Well, there is some truth behind it because he shared this. Uh, yeah, he did share uh, it in his Instagram stories that back soon. Yes, Reese Nelson. So yes, that confirms his injury. So get well soon, Reese. Looks like if he st if he stays if he stays, then would you give him a new contract and you know kind of protect his value like how we did with Granit Xhaka, or would you you know? Um, he could, he could not be sold right now. So, would you keep him or would you give him a new contract? Let me know in the comments what you guys feel about this one. Because, yeah, this is actually a very good thing. Like, you know, keep, uh, giving him a new contract would actually make a lot of sense. But I would want to know whether it does it. Do you feel the same as well? Moving on. So, uh, Lee Dixon has expressed some concerns about William Saliba. Despite the debut, yes, he has his concerns about him. He says, he performed brilliantly well. Saliba, 21 years of age, he's been away and everyone's now saying, where's he been? He's been learning his trade and doing the right thing. Chelsea loan out 50 players a year and nobody says anything. We send one out and it's as if we don't know what we're doing and we should have him, we should have had him back earlier. Come back to me in 37 games and we'll give you an assessment on how Saliba has done. As well as he's done and as confident as he's looked on the ball, that could go. I don't know him as a player under pressure at Anfield where he gets nutmegged and gives a couple of goals away. He might go to pieces. You might have to leave him out of the team because he's now a broken footballer and you need to protect him. There's a million questions to be answered but you can only give an opinion on what you've seen. So William Saliba is the real deal. So you wait and you watch things will really fall into place so you don't need to have you don't have to you know um yeah moving on before talking about anything let's talk about unit elements again and again because evening standard has also confirmed about unit elements deal yes they also say that leicester are ready to take the lowest of the lowest 25 million pounds a cut price deal because they don't have any much options so they would take whatever they get Moving on, so it looks like Manchester City are wanting you, uh, uh, our boy Kieran Tierney. Yes, Zinchenko's uh, departure has led to uh, you know Manchester City looking to get uh, another fullback, another left back, and Tierney could be the player that they're looking at. But here we go. Uh, Danny Murphy believes Gabriel Martinelli is the Premier League's young player to look out for this season. He says the first one would be Martinelli at Arsenal. He's had injury problems, people know about his talent, but I think he could be a really good source of goals. Wherever he plays, he always ends up in good positions. He got the goal on Friday, he's got the ability to make goals for himself. If he stays fit, he could be a key player. Yes. He definitely could be a key player, man. Also, he's, 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 he's talking about... Cody Gakpo is Fabrizio Romano. He says Manchester United are discussing Gakpo internally. He'd love Premier League move. Uh, while talks are still ongoing with Adrian Rabio's camp, Gakpo is one of the names in the list alongside priority target Anthony. No official bid yet. Anthony. The price tag would be too high. Too high. Well, here's the funny part. Um, Jeremy Pino is the most advanced deal if you compare Cody Gakpo and... Jeremy Pino. So, uh, according to Spanish publication AS, 
it looks like Arsenal reportedly put are putting in a 34 million pound bid for the player, which could be accepted despite the forward's much higher release clause of 67 million pounds. So suddenly, AS believe that Arsenal are ready to put a bid of 34 million pounds for Jeremy Pino, which does not make a, a lot of sense. There's no other publication saying about anything about it. So Jacobs shared what he knows about Pino. Ben Jacobs says that Arsenal fans have been talking about mystery wingers all summer. And Pino is fantastic, by the way, a really good player. I think this one is one to watch. First of all, he has a release clause. If Arsenal do business below that clause, they've pulled off a fantastic signing. The release clause is over 65 million pounds. And the feeling is that Arsenal's interest is in mid thirties. So it would be a fantastic bit of business and ambitious as well. My God. So AS saying 34 million. Arsenal could come up with and Ben Jacobs say, you know what, uh, mid 30s, 30, like between 30 to 35 would make a lot of sense. I personally f am shocked by this. But here's another thing, uh, Bayern's head, uh, Hassan Salim, my God, I, I, I always mess up his name, yeah? Uh, Salim Salihamidzik, Salihamidzik, damn it. Hassan Salihamidzik uh, addressed this matter about Sane. Is he for sale? Is he really leaving Bayern? Uh, Hassan says, there's nothing wrong with that. Leroy is an important player for us, so there's nothing to tell about it. I believe in him and there is a lot in him. He has everything, speed, technique, a great shot. He should just get that out. So basically, yes, Bayern are actually waiting for Leroy Sane to explode. Not, not, not in the opposite way, but explode in the scene. And if he does, it will be a fantastic, fantastic thing. Let's see if that happens or not for Bayern. With this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal corner and the best place to be, consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.